Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. Come watch me stream. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Oh, my God. That was so loud, Chris. Hey, everybody. What's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens. Or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. Should I rear end this Range Rover in front of me just to feel something? It's kind of tempting. I don't know what this spa voice is, but I could really talk like this for the rest of the video. You might be thinking, Chris, why are we in the... No, you're not. You've already seen the title. Never mind. Yes, as you can see by the title, I've decided to take on another one of my... What is... What a... Me being a fat ass on camera? I mean, what is... <laughs> Am I able to really go to the drive-thru, film it, put it on the internet, and then call that an official taste test oh chris baby that is just you fulfilling your dreams oh my god are these really my dreams these can't be anyways yes i've had this idea for so fucking long and i wanted to wanted to wait until i was more established in the fast food taste test community now, i really don't know why i put off this video i think it's honestly because i was avoiding an afternoon of eating exclusively french fries it's not something i'm afraid of it's the feeling afterwards I'm afraid of. But today is the day I am finally doing my drive through fast food french fry taste test. I know that that was probably a lot of words I just put together. I, I feel like we all understood what I'm saying. You guys have seen me taste test vegan fast food, fast food I've never tried, etc. And today I'm seeing which place has the best french fries. Yeah, wow, this really is a dream of mine, huh? Okay, thank god I have therapy in 2 hours and 15 minutes. I did tweet out asking what people thought was the best fry and a lot of people gave some suggestions that weren't fast food drive throughs Since we're obviously in a pandemic, I'm not feeling so comfortable to get out of my car and go into establishment. So I did want to make that disclaimer that it's only going to be french fries from drive throughs I have a long list of places we're going today because again, I can't convey this enough of how passionate I am about this. But before we go to stop number one, I want to thank the sponsors of this video, which is Surfshark VPN. I'm super excited to be working with Surfshark again and if you don't know Surfshark is an app or a browser extension that basically lets you place your laptop or phone anywhere in the world and surf the internet and use the internet as if you were in that country. Dreaming of going to a different co oh no we have a new president. Oh my god is Am I feeling hopeful? <laughs> With Surfshark VPN, you're not only able to access and unlock different websites that you wouldn't normally be able to, but you have an extra layer of security that's keeping all of your videos, photos, etc. safe. Besides the extra level of security, I, in this quarantine, have really been enjoying the ability to go on, for say, Netflix on different countries and watch shows that aren't available in America. There's some things not available to people in America. <laughs> Hi, healthcare. How are you? Obviously, when we're not in a pandemic, I love using Surfshark VPN in public on public Wi Fi's because public Wi Fi is like a hacker's wet dream. Now, if you want to check out Surfshark VPN, which is the only VPN service to offer unlimited devices for one account, I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check out Surfshark and use code CLEMENS to get 83% off plus three extra months for free. There really is no harm in trying it because they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can just get your money back. Again, thank you so much to Surfshark for supporting this channel. And speaking of support, I'm going to need some life support after I eat my body weight in french fries. So let's go. Oh, good. I'm glad I'm passing UCLA Health. It's the first place I'm going to be checking in right after this video. Now, I do have to say that I am pretty ravenous, but I did not see the solution to that problem being eating french fries from, I think, nine places. <laughs> we are pulling into the first place that we are trying, and it is probably, and I'm trying to say this as unbiased as possible, my favorite french fries and that is mcdonald's not doing any of these in any particular order uh, i just passed the mcdonald's and figured let's get it off the list welcome to mcdonald's how can i help you hi can i get the travis scott meal i'm just kidding i'm kidding um sorry i'm so sorry i thought that would be way funnier in my head could i just get a small fry please anything else nope that's it because i'm skinny <laughs> Ex exactly. Now, because LA is number one for COVID, um, I am double masking every time I go anywhere. And everybody, please wear a fucking mask when you go through the drive through Hello? Hi, dear asshole in front of me with the tiny penis car. Could you wear a mask? I'm here with McDonald's fries. This is what they look like. All right, here we go. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is a very accurate depiction. 
Yep, mm-hmm. I don't know what makes these fries so good, and I probably don't want to know. But oh my fucking god. McDonald's fries have the perfect crunch, yet softness. Oh my god, I just can't stop eating them. I think these are like... Perfect fries. Oh my god, I could like literally. Chris, don't say it. Yeah, we got it. I fucking love these fries. <laughs> okay, wow, I almost really did rear end a car. We're pulling into the next place, which you would never think I'm gonna get french fries here, but they have french fries and it's Taco Bell. Oh, and I'm blowing past. Okay. Oh, welcome to Taco Bell. Thank you for today. Hello, could I get um a small nacho fry without any of the seasoning? These fries come with like a nacho dust on them, which I'm not thrilled about. All right, bag secured. So we have our French fries from Taco Bell, and this is what they look like. They smell interesting. I have to say, I like this size of fry. It's like not skinny, but it's not like steak cut. Anyways, this is all just proving that I spend way too much time thinking about fried potatoes. All right, here we go. These fries would be so good if they didn't have this fucking dust on them. Like, it's good, obviously. The dust was made in a laboratory so that it would be addicting. But, like, if I was gonna have this flavor, I wouldn't order french fries. I would order, like, a Dorito taco. The taste with this shit on it is, like, not a french fry. Anyways, I'm not gonna complain about these anymore as I sit here and continue to stuff my face with them. The McDonald's fries were obviously a 10. These, I would say, are, like, a six and a half. Anyways, I'm gonna continue eating, um, uh, McDonald's french fries until I get to my <laughs> next french fry appointment. So the Taco Bell fries have spilled all over the floor of my car, but we are pulling into our next stop, which is Wendy's. Hi, can I get a small fry, please? Do you have apple pie? No, we don't. Oh, shit. Okay. Excuse me while I Clorox wipe my car. We have our Wendy's fries here, and this is what they look like. I had Wendy's fries for the first time a few months ago whenever I did them for that fast food I've never had before mukbang. I don't remember how these taste, so. Wow, these I am stumped on. I am stumped. A part of me is like, okay, well, this is what a McDonald's french fry should taste like. And then another part of me is like, I'd rather have a McDonald's french fry. I do like this size. I think you get a nice subtle crunch, but a nice soft french fry. I'm giving Wendy's fries like a nine and... A nine. Oh my god, Chris, you have lost your mind. So with Wendy's under our belt, which is continuing to get bigger and bigger, we are moving on to the next spot, which I'm not really sure what it is, because I'm kind of just driving down a road and stopping when I see something. I will say, only three stops and I am feeling the fry, baby. Oh my god, this is recording. Okay, well, I could fart so hard I could drill a hole in my friend seat. Has this just been recording the whole time? Alright, so update, my camera won't let me stop recording. Oh, never mind, I was not hitting the correct button. We're pulling into the next place, which is probably the most hateful place, Chick-fil-A. What can I get for you today? Could I get, um, an order of french fries? Chris, what size would you like? Small. Anything else? Um, could I get the blood of ten gays? <laughs> That'll be it. That'll be it? Any yeah. sauces with that? Uh, no, thank you. Perfect. I'm gonna resist Chick-fil-A sauce today. <laughs> wow, thank God she's queer. Holy shit, that joke could have gone over so poorly. Another day in the life, guys. My body feels like shit. That is what I'm saying. Shoulda got a blue parade. I am not playing. Wow, if I were to ever have a jingle about myself, that would really be it. Wow, and this lighting is really not it. God, I need mental help. Oh my God, therapy's in, ooh, like an hour. My bowels are in. Pain, yeah. All right, the bag is secure, or should I say the bag is confirmed? That's a religion joke. Anyways, let's park under this billboard and hope it falls on me. All right, we have the Chick-fil-A french fries. They're waffles if you have not had them before. Wow. Okay, so I was really ready to rate these higher than what I feel like I'm about to rate them. If I were to dip these in Chick-fil-A sauce, immediate 10, but that's mostly the Chick-fil-A sauce doing the work. However, after eating three french fries already, I think, these feel very average. Like, these are Wendy vibes for sure. I do like that the waffle allows there to be a lot of softness, but still you get a crunch. But they're lacking salt. I see... <laughs> I think I don't like them because they don't taste as unhealthy as McDonald's fries. Like, this tastes very much like a potato. I think these fries are also gonna join Wendy's and get a nine. Can't believe I'm saying this, but on to the next French fry place. All right, we're pulling into the drive-thru of Carl's Jr., which I don't think I remember these fries if I've had them. Hey, can I get a small fry, please? Thank you. Oh my god, a small fry is $3 here? I can't believe a small fry is $3. I mean, like, unless they're gonna give me wet, sloppy fellatio. 
I don't know why I didn't account for the fact that I would feel like shit. But oh my god, I feel like shit. Thanks so much. I don't need a receipt. Oh, I just farted and I think a little something came out. Do, 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 do. This is what Carl's Jr. fries look like. These don't look familiar at all. So when I tweeted out about the best French fries, a lot of people said Hardee's, which is, I guess, the same thing as Carl's Jr. Here we go. Wait, the more I eat of these, the more they grow on me. Do I like these more than Wendy's fries? Like, wait, these are pretty good. Ooh, okay. So Carl's Jr. just did something major and is making me rechange the entire scoreboard. So after eating half of this container, and oh my god, my hand is so shiny. That is really embarrassing. I realized that I like these fries more than Wendy's and Chick-fil-A, but I don't love them enough to give them a 9.5. So Wendy's and Chick-fil-A is now being demoted to an 8, and these are now being just given nine. Wow, we love a comeback story. All right, time to go to the next one, which again, I don't know which one it is. The next place we are going is In-N-Out. That is not the line for In-N-Out. I'm feeling so ill, both mentally and in my waistband. I am calling this the last stop. I am so sorry. I planned on going to a bunch more. I physically cannot. Because I'm cutting today's journey short, uh, if you guys want to see a part two to this, leave a comment down below as well as places whose french fries I should try. Again, I feel so bad about this, but if you guys heard the sounds exiting my body that I'm not even confident enough to put in this, you guys would understand. This poor guy who has to stand, like, three blocks down just to take people's orders. This is why the fucking minimum wage should be $15 an hour at least. Could I get a small fry? Okay, wow. Part of me really wanted to order a milkshake and say, fuck it all and just really put the nail in the coffin. Oh, I switched my mask. My other one fell on the ground, so there's that answer. I love your panel, by the way. Oh, well, you're on it, so. No way! Here, I'll move up here. Like, hi! <laughs> oh my god, my back window's open? When did that happen? We are here for the last fry of the day, and it is in and out This is what they look like. Oh my god, they're very hot. The thing with in and out fries is you do have to eat these, like, immediately. Otherwise, they will become cardboard that 5 Minute Crafts will ask you to put in a blender and blend up. I never know how to feel about in and out fries because, I don't know, I feel like... I very much relate to that. Some days these are a two. And then other days these can really glow up into like a six or a seven. So here we go. Yeah, okay. So we're definitely already at cardboard phase. This might be niche, but do people know those like French fry potato chip things you could get like out of a vending machine? They were essentially like really thin French fries, but crunchy. These taste exactly like those, but if they had a little bit of softness to them. I can't eat any more of these. One, because I think I'm gonna literally die. I'm gonna give the In-N-Out fries like a two. I know that that might be controversial. That might, to some people, be very generous. There are, like, very rare occasions where I crave these fries. Today is not one of them. So after going to McDonald's, Wendy's, Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, Carl's Jr., and In-N-Out, I have found that McDonald's have a perfect score of 10. Carl's Jr. has a 9. Wendy's and Chick-fil-A got 8. Taco Bell got 6.5. And, and In-N-Out got a 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if you guys want a part 2. I'm really going to try and wrap up this video without getting too graphic about what's to follow for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to really focus on uh, keeping the gates closed. B yeah. Okay, bye.